Good morning, my beautiful people. Rise and shine. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day. <sighs> Namaste. Look at these beautiful flowers. <laughs> these just caught my eye. So pretty. Anyways, um, I'm gonna keep this message real short and um because actually today is my first day of training at my new job so i gotta keep this short and go take a shower and log in Ooh, praise god i have a job needed that so bad hallelujah oh look at the light capturing this Ooh. anyways um i just wanted to um touch base with y'all about what i was saying yesterday um, I'm sure you've heard the phrase, hurt people hurt people. And how many of y'all know that's true? <laughs> I had heard that for years and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, cute, catchy, whatever. But I didn't really understand it until my last relationship where um, I didn't mean to hurt the person. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I, I was trying to love them with all my heart and soul. Um, but because of the hurts that I had, the traumas in my life that I hadn't resolved yet. Oh, look at the shadow. The things in my life, um, the things that were triggering me, the PTSD, I, I had been working on it, um, but then, you know, new things popped up and progress is not linear. Sometimes we get stuck in this mindset of thinking that progress means you just move one way, you move forward and that's it and you don't fall back. But that's not true. It's more like a, I don't know, like a spiral or um, continuum. I don't know. Basically, progress is not linear. You're going to move forward in life. And then sometimes things happen that set you back. But as long as you keep learning from each and every mistake and keep healing yourself, then things will get better. Um, so I was at that point. I had done so much healing and I thought it was good, but... A few things were happening in my life that were very, very traumatic. And I didn't realize that I was hurting the person I was around. Um, and of course, this was during the... <laughs> we had just started dating and then the pan... And I moved into each with each other because I was um, homeless at the time, like I am now. <laughs> but um, then the pandemic happened and we were locked down together it's like you barely know someone and then you're locked down with them and then all of your triggers are coming out and everything um so i ended up like saying things and doing things and certain actions that ended up hurting him and because he also had some stuff he hasn't worked through yet he also said and did things that hurt me and it wasn't intentional but neither one of us really knew um what our triggers were and why they were triggering us or how to deal with it. <laughs> and then actually there was a point in time where I was looking for somebody. Um, I really wanted therapy and I wanted help and doctors weren't seeing people and stuff like that. So I ended up, yeah, hurt people hurt people. Both of us went into the relationship not wanting to hurt each other, but yeah, when you're hurt. And if you think of it from a physical point of view, um, let's say <laughs> a random situation. Let's say there's some zombie apocalypse. And then, uh, oh, hi. Oh, that's a pretty little bee or something. Where are you? Anyway, let's say there's a zombie apocalypse or something. Um, uh, and then, like, let's see. I don't know my brain oh oh yeah brain because mental mental health okay so let's say like i have brain damage or something like a zombie i get hurt and somehow while i'm um trying to save people's lives and then or or maybe i have like a bite mark or a gunshot wounds or something and even though i'm sick even though i'm hurting i'm still trying to save other people now even though I'm like, my intention is good. I'm trying to save people's lives. I'm trying to like, you know, I see somebody who gets hurt and I try to pick them up and carry them along with me. But then since I'm already hurt and haven't, um, I need medical attention. I can't go as fast and make the right kind of decisions 
and um, be in the right, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be slowing them down. I'm trying to get them help, but, and I'm trying to help them, but I'm actually hurting them. It's um, like, the, I could be so slow. Let's say, oh, I, I do have a bad leg. I have a bad leg right now. Um, I've always had a bad leg and I guess I probably always will. <laughs> um but yeah so let's say i'm trying to run away and but in the meantime i'm trying to pick up other people and save their lives but that means i'm going even slower because i'm limping along with my gimpy leg and then trying to save, bring people with me so then now we're all slow and limping together and it's the blind leading the blind and then the zombies come get us and then we all die it <laughs> that would suck but that's how it kind of is with mental health. Um, looking back, I realize now I should not have been in a relationship at that point in time. Because I wasn't mentally healthy. I should have taken care of myself first. Um, putting on your oxygen mask before you help others is so important. So yeah, um, that's what... Oh, and then hurt people hurt people. Also, taking it to the next level, this is something that I, did, I discovered on my own. Happy people help people. Happy people help people. I don't know about you, but um, in, <laughs> in my line of work over the years, I've had to tell people a lot of times, I'd be happy to help you with that. Because <laughs> um, really, if you're... If you're not happy, like if you're a grumpy, if you're in a bad mood, you're not really gonna wanna help people, right? Like if I was sick, if I had a cold or something and, or even, you know what, honestly, okay. For me personally, it's at the beginning of my period, I am so grumpy because my body is going through a million things and like, um, <laughs> yeah, the, the hormones and then, blood and the, it's basically my insides are scraping themselves out and dropping out of me and I have to still try and function like a normal person <laughs> um, as if nothing's wrong I don't really feel like helping people when I'm in that kind of mood <laughs> when I'm in that situation it's like no I'm not happy to help you I'll help because you know my heart is true and I do want to help people but it's not going to be really good true help my my decisions my thought processes are gonna be influenced by whatever I'm going through um, so then the next level healthy people heal people healthy people heal people when I was working on this whole theory um, I was asking my son what sounds better and he's like you know what I think he, he agreed that like healthy people heal people sounds good beca because it, yeah, they both have the word heal in it, heal and then health, H-E-A-L, heal, H-E-A-L-T-H, health. Um, and, but it goes deeper than that. Because even when I'm happy and I, and I wanna heal people like um, <laughs> with these videos or anybody who's ever been like, trying to um all of you light workers that are watching this i'm sure you've had the experience where you want to help people out and stuff and you want to heal people but then you got shit going on in your life that speaking of shit woo, gotta watch out for that <laughs> oh and over here oh my god okay this <laughs> anyway gotta step around the shit in life um hi grape plant this is a grape vine woo Anyway, so yeah, um, if you're not healthy, even though you want to help to heal people, you really just can't. And again, going back to like being sick or something or like, oh, the oxygen mask. Um, if you're on a plane and you want to, you know, help people out or heal them. And like, let's say the plane's going down fast and you, you didn't put on your oxygen mask um, and the person next to you just fainted if you help them before you do the thing for yourself, then it's not going to work. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I just realized that I, what time it is. I do want to go deeper into the subject some other time. But, um, 
Let's see. Oh, I guess one last thing. I will leave you with a couple words of wisdom from the Bible. I was looking at Proverbs to just try and get some motivation and wisdom for what's coming up in the next couple hours. My new job. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for all those who believed in me. And thank you for everybody who prayed for me and anybody who helped out. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. I'm in Proverbs chapter 12 today. And let's see. <clears throat> God, there's so many different things. That I, just chapter 12 has so much wisdom. Okay, I'm just going to go like halfway through. Okay. <clears throat> Fools think their own way is right. But the wise listen to others. A fool is quick tempered. But a wise person stays calm when insulted. Ooh, dang, I need to pay attention to that. A wise person stays calm when insulted. I do have a tendency, or at least lately, I've been, I'm not usually quick tempered, but lately I've been a little frustrated and not staying calm when insulted. <laughs> so I guess I need to pay more attention to that. Um, and then it goes on to say, some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Ooh, I like that. Talking about healing and health, helping people and healthy people. Some people make cutting remarks, but the words of the wise bring healing. Truthful words stand the test of time, but lies are soon exposed. Ooh, I like that. I swear every time th this is why I don't lie because every time I try to lie I get caught <laughs> I, I always get caught so it's like why what's the point in lying <laughs> truthful words stand the test of time truthful words stand the test of time but lies are soon exposed mm, work hard and become a leader be lazy and become a slave <laughs> the way of the godly leads to life that path does not lead to death. Awesome. Ooh, ooh, real quick. I just saw something that caught my eye in Proverbs 11. Um, <laughs> trust in your money and down you go. <laughs> trust in your money and down you go. But the godly flourish like leaves in spring. I like that. Okay, gonna leave it right there. Um, and... Um, hopefully I will be able to do another video later, or if not tomorrow, I'll do something better. Okay. Have a great day, my lovelies. I love you all. <laughs> and God loves you too. And that's the most important part. Namaste. Mwah.